Welcome everybody. I am here with my friend Travis. Travis is a very good friend of mine here. He is a pickup truck driver. He daily is an F-250. He also uses a trailer a lot of the times. And this is the first time he's going to be reacting up close to a Tesla Cybertruck. Are you excited? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Hell yeah. So let's get <laughs> That was a locking sound. <laughs> he's going to drive it. He's going to tow with it. We're going to charge it. All kinds of stuff. Uh, and I just, I'm looking to get his honest opinion as a daily pickup truck driver who also worked at an oil field for, how long did you work in oil field again? Uh, for about 10 and a half years. Somebody who I would say you're probably relatively new to the EV world, the EV trucking world and stuff. Oh, absolutely. What do you think of the look? First and foremost. It's ugly. <laughs> it's ugly. For the style aspect, I think it's too far in the future. Okay. For the styling aspect of it, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, as you can see, this is, you know, the cyber truck, and then you have my truck. It's night and day, you know, um, on styles. I don't know. And then you got, you know, you got a, a 20 foot damn windshield wiper, <laughs> yeah. you know? It's massive. I bet it, you know, wipes, wipes it clean, but I bet it costs an arm and a leg for a new one. So I think the wiper itself is only like a hundred bucks, which is a lot. <laughs> well, I, I mean, think. I forget how much it is exactly. I think now, you know, for for two good ones, it's probably for you know forty bucks each. So that's I, it ain't, I guess it ain't too far fetch. Yeah. What is that? Three and a half foot wide. I think it's four feet long. Mm. Yeah, three and a half, four feet, something like that. Yeah, that's yeah, massive. Very long. I definitely want to give a shout out to Chase and the guys at Cybertruck ATX for letting us borrow their car. We've used them before. An awesome Cybertruck rental company out here in Texas. Make sure in Austin, Texas. And this unique wrap on the truck is by Bespoke. Bespoke paint, paint protection. You've seen them before on our videos. Look at how sick this thing looks. I think it looks sick. Travis doesn't think so, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you know, with, with this wrap, it, it don't look half bad. Yeah. Um, if it was just a bare metal, th that's hideous. It yeah. really is. Okay. It, you know. What do you think of the tires, like the, like the look of it? I mean, for like the sidewall and stuff, I mean, it, they look badass. Goodyear, I guess it's their all-terrain version or whatever. Yep. Um, yep. I think a good, you know, beefy, more aggressive all-terrain and stuff could um, obviously make a, a different appearance look on it as well. The rims don't look half bad. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think those are terrible. Okay. You know, uh, with the fender. Let me, uh, let me get your opinion on the, on the front trunk here. So the front trunk. I mean, what the f do you use it for? <laughs> Groceries, golf bag. I mean, if you're a single man, maybe. <laughs> a golf bag. Okay. I, I, I mean, yeah, that's people who buy this would probably pay, you know, golf. I, I wouldn't. I could, I could probably fit about at least two cases of beer right here and then ice, so that'll work, okay. you know, go to a party. Yeah, it's definitely like they have other, uh, uh, pickup trucks uh, like EV, like the F-150 Lightning. Yeah. It has a giant front trunk, like a really, really big front trunk. But that one's got a slightly smaller bed than this one. This one's a six, six foot bed. The other one is a five and a half. Eight foot by four foot, I, I believe. With, with the tailgate shoot. down. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. You can press that button right there. Right there. Yeah. There you go. And it closes up. Yeah, that's, cool. too, that's fancy. Look at that. Boop. Shout out AGT. We picked up this uh, Cybertruck from their uh, car show uh, out here in Round Rock. It was freaking awesome. We saw P1, McLarens, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, so like from the side, does it still like look ugly to you? Like this triangle shape? Yeah, I mean, it's ugly. I, you can't, you can't hide ugly. Okay. I mean, you <laughs> could, you could make it a little bit prettier. Why I think it's ugly is just, like I said, it's, it's unique. It's like uh, definitely, Back to the future type vibe, you know, they, when he goes, you know, 100 years into the future type stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, 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 it's unique. It's, I don't know. I don't, that's the only word I can really think about. Okay. You know, ugly, ugly. What do you think of this? Uh, so the tonneau cover. So if you press this button right there, so that closes the, uh, there's a uh, electronic tonneau and that uh, is waterproof and it basically shuts the tailgate, uh, Closed, shut. What do you think about that feature? I mean, laziness, but it's nice, <laughs> right? I heard that like a full grown man can stand on here and bounce on it and it, it, don't, it won't give or nothing. That's right, yeah. It's like 300 pounds. It can hold up to 300 pounds. I think mean, it can do even more, but it's 
300. I'm about 80 pounds shy of that max weight. <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, um, and if you press it all the way down, yeah, and then it opens it back up. And then if you press the button all the way at the bottom there, the, the uh, that one, tailgate, that, that right? would release the tailgate, yeah. I mean, some of these features are cool. Don't get me wrong. It just looks shallow, but I guess that is four foot. But. Yeah, and it's got these uh, hooks here. Like, what is it called? The tracks? I forget what the hell this thing is called. Uh, there's a name for it, those things. But you Track. can... You do your uh, like you can do your tie downs and stuff. Oh, oh, okay. So, yeah. so if you if you want to move it move it around for and use your straps, exactly. If you're hauling something. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of a uh, important feature. Yeah. You know, you got this area right here. If you want to flip that over there, you got that, and that actually has a it has a, a plug at the bottom of it too for uh, if you want to do like an ice chest or something in here. Oh no shit! Like a drain plug. Yeah, it should be in there. There it is. Oh, I see it right there. Yeah. Now, see, that's cool. I, yeah. I can use that feature. That'd be nice. Yeah. You said ice chest. I'm all up for it. Yeah. Matter of fact, why don't we... We got we some beer right one? now. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to open that door right there, you see that door? This one? Yep. Yeah. It's got plugs, too. Oh, nice. It's got two, two uh, 120s and uh, one 240. And um, yeah. I mean, see, that's a pretty cool feature. Yeah. You know, uh, but I guess it all depends on what you're charging determines how fast the battery drains, right? Right. Kind of common sense. Exactly. So, and then this is soft close as well. So if you lift it up, don't put it all the way to the, so just make it so that it clicks. Just very, very, there you go. And then pulls it in. Ooh. So it does like a little soft closed thing. Open up the uh, the back door and then let me know what you think of the, of the back door. What do you think about opening the doors? What do you think about that little thing with the button? I mean, it's 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 cool, I guess. Is it is it comfortable? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you don't have a giant in front, yeah, I mean, th there's some leg room. And, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's bad. Okay. No, yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. Um, and and then the front, it's it's just the same. Um, it's a very future aspect to it, you know. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm used to gauges and you know a lot more noise in here. It's there's there's nothing in it yeah i mean it's it's simple yeah. but it's um it's it's cool looking it's i don't i don't i don't like the mirror that thing that like mirror is useless it's tiny yeah that that rear view mirror yeah, yeah i don't i don't i don't get the concept of that yeah especially when you got how many cameras are on this eight eight and yeah. so you get a <laughs> little <laughs> mini you know mirror yeah so this screen, so you'll see it once you're driving it, the screen will pop up the uh, the rear view mirror uh, when the tunnel is closed. So oh, really? it will actually use the rear camera oh, to yeah? show you where it's at. Yeah, so we'll see that when we're driving around. Mm. And then this thing also opens 90 degrees, the door. I don't know if that's something you, so, and there is a, there's a strap on the side of the, um, on the rear seat here that you can use to pull. And, oh. it, and it does it on, on both sides too. So you can go all the way up okay. and, it, and it clicks, yeah. Sweet. So then and you can you know, pull put, it and pull it and it goes okay. back down. Exactly. Left in. Yeah. So the thought process that you can load stuff up, you know, straight and then you got 90 degrees and it shows boop. Yeah, no, I mean, I actually, actually like that idea. Should we drive it to the supercharger and see what you think of it driving? Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, let's do it. All right, All right. so let's go ahead and navigate to the supercharger. Okay, so the way you turn on the test is you put it, yeah, you put your foot on the, on the thing what and then. I, I don't know. The car's already in drive because it already it can tell by the cameras that you're going to go forward. So the car's already in drive. Yeah. What the f you mean? <laughs> so on the screen here, so you see how there's no stocks? Did you, did yeah. you notice? So uh, the, the blinkers are on the steering wheel. So you got the bottom blinker, the bottom button is the left blinker, and the top button is the right blinker. Okay. That's weird. That's weird, right? Yeah, it is. And if you want to put it in park, there is a button right there. So you just press P right there. So that's, uh, uh, you hold it, sorry. So oh. you hold park. There you go. So that's in park now. It says here, you tap brake to activate drive. There you go, now it's in drive. And if you want to go reverse, you just grab that and you move it down. So that's reverse. And then you see that's a rear camera. Um. And then you got your left and your right. And then you can also swipe this down. So if you swipe this whole thing down, that's your front camera. So you have a front camera, a rear camera, and two side cameras. Huh. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. And then just go up. Okay. There you go, and that's drive. And there's a rear view mirror. Hmm. And you can uh, move it as well, so you can move it here if you like. 
to make it bigger. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you like it here or do you like it there? Oh, right there. Right there, son. Yeah, okay. Okay. And uh, yeah. And then here's your navigation, and that's how we'll get to the supercharger. So we'll get there in about uh, 13 minutes. I feel like I'm playing a video game with the, this goofy ass steering wheel. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like I mean, it's like a like a spaceship type shit. Okay. You know, it it's very different from normal. Yeah. What do you think of that quick the quick ratio where you don't have to put too much effort to steer? Well, well, I'm trying to put effort into not this up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I can afford a little bit of money, but I can't yeah. afford to buy a new one. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know. Yeah. Um, so um, uh, it's it's I don't know. It's definitely feels different. I mean, I don't have to use the brakes because yeah. you let off and it does it by itself. Yeah. How, how does that feel, the regenerative braking? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, I, I think it would be cool, um, I mean, maybe over time, you know, when I get used to it. Yeah. And I'm not on camera, so, you know, I, <laughs> I could do stuff that I shouldn't be doing on camera, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's definitely oh, go, go left. left. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. It's just like uh, I, like the seat, the chair in it feels feels comfortable. Okay. Um, but as far as everything else, I don't know. And everything's so quiet in here too. Yeah. What do you think of that, think of that blinker? Um, it's it's like playing it's like playing a video game. Yeah. And it's quiet, you know. Yeah. It feels pretty smooth. I mean, this thing weighs quite a bit, doesn't it? Seven thousand pounds. I mean, that's yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not a light truck. You know, definitely not a light truck. That's um, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because both of my trucks, I mean, they they weigh uh, the the my F two fifty weighs about nine thousand pounds because mm -hmm. I had those bumpers and lift and 37 inch tires but yeah uh, the gmc uh, i think it's like i think it's 7500 pounds 7500 so yeah i mean that's that's pretty close to the same yeah. weight right yeah so i mean i don't know it, it, it's weird it's trippy it is okay it is um is your first time driving an ev as well yeah yeah wow so, Never it's have. A, so okay that's crazy so it's your first time driving an ev and it's your first time in a Cybertruck as well. So your first EV is a Tesla Cybertruck. Yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> you got a green here. Oh, uh, see, it got me nervous. <laughs> I, I got both hands on the steering wheel. That, yeah. that never happens. <laughs> uh, you want to give us some beans here? That's pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, way faster than my truck. This one's the dual motor. This one's the dual motor Cybertruck. So it's got 600 horses, zero to 60 in about four seconds. I mean, that's, that's, that's Not fast. Slow. Well, yeah. well, I mean, for, for the weight too, I mean, 7,000 pounds. Yeah. I, I, I know that you got all four tires moving with the same equal amount of torque, right? Right. Exactly. So, exactly. Uh, that, that makes a huge difference in it as, as well. Yeah. I'm going to turn on the um, AC a little bit for us. But, uh, it, no, it's fast. Yeah. I can't imagine what the what the beast mode one is. Mm -hmm. You know, would you say it's two point two point six and sixty? Yeah, two sixty. I I can I can wrap that around a telephone pole quick. <laughs> dude. That's fast. That is fast, man. So mm. fast. Or or if I piss off the wife, I just haul ass. Yeah. Be gone before she starts yelling at me. Yeah, yeah. So that'd be good. That was taking pictures of you there. Uh, and start charging 20 bucks a picture. This thing's also got uh, cooled seats as well. Uh, I don't know if you can feel it on your butt, but... Um, yeah, I can got... feel them on my balls. Yeah. <laughs> feel good. <laughs> feel good, right? Yeah, summertime will be great. Yeah. Does it feel better, worse, different? Like, is you, is it tough to process right now? Like, what it feels like to drive this thing? Like, what's... What's, like, your immediate takeaway? Um, Don't wreck. Don't wreck, okay? Yeah. You're just focusing on not wrecking. Yeah. yeah. You know, hands up on my kids. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, I can't lean back or yeah, nothing. That and then obviously, like I said, having a camera on me, you know. Oh, of course. Yeah. You know, it, like I said, we were at my house, your house, having yeah. a few beers, and we're both relaxed. Yeah. We could probably have a lot more better content. Just, in just pretend. Just no. This is great content. Just pretend. Pretend. Pretend this is not even here. But I mean, I can't. My I got eyes <laughs> yeah. that's right here in the middle. You know. That's uh, fair. That's fair. I think I could be satisfied with this because it's simple. It's not mm -hmm. overbearing. Um, I mean, with today's technology, having a giant screen is yeah. a is a norm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, totally. So. Um, I don't think I would want this white trim interior, but it's cool, especially with this little blue light, you know, that you see going across and yep. stuff. I mean, yep. it's nice. Uh, obviously, we heard what the stereo system sound like too. I mean, yep. it's that's up to par. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be playing little Kim or Nicki Minaj, but yeah. Um, it sounds good. I think it's, uh, you know, for me, for just a simple interior is, is great. Is a plus? Okay. Yeah. So you appreciate like this, like the simple, like just straightforward approach that they're taking in here. Yeah. 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 Does it bother you that it doesn't have more buttons? Well, I like mean, physical I, I get, buttons for like AC uh, and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm more old school, obviously. Right. Yeah. Um, and to be able to figure this out and operate it would probably take me forever yeah um but once again i mean that's where everything's going to right 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 um so uh <laughs> he likes it <laughs> yeah what do you think i like it okay you want to race you want to race let's go <laughs> <laughs> are you pulling something no <laughs> we can yeah man he's actually I'm, I'm having him check it out he, he daily's a 250 as well and it's his first time in an ev so I'm, oh, I would love to get the, that would be cool yeah know, it's gonna be on youtube we're recording it okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there we go. Do a little, yes, sir. little jump. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. He likes it. He's throwing the thumbs up. Yeah, this thing is a, this thing is a giant magnet for attention. Yeah. I mean, everywhere you go, especially now because it's so rare, people just love this thing. <coughs> they just, they just love to even just like talk about it, you know, just like pull up next to people and be like because when i had it driving down to austin dude it was it was wild really it was it was a magnet it was insane yeah. um yeah i mean i can it all depends on how you look at it i, I mean i i could see that being a, a positive yeah uh vibe you know people you know even if people think it's ugly like i do yeah you know but seeing all the hype across all different platforms and then you actually see one yeah you know, um, like, was it last year? One of you told me, told me that you know that that's what you want to do is get one on the stuff. And I've seen it. I, I mean, it's ugly. <laughs> it ugly. Even in person, right now that you've seen yeah. it in person. Um, it's. I mean, like, it's not as ugly um, mm -hmm. because you know, like I said, we saw one that's wrapped in white, and then the one that's wrapped in orange. So yeah, and then some of the pictures you show me of. Uh, of one that's black and then one that was uh, like that dark forest green color. Yeah, yeah. You know, like um, the halo, like the halo looking thing. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I mean, me, I, I would think with with the right color wrap and and better, uh, more aggressive tires on it. Yeah, because that's just me. Sure. I, I like tires. Um, I, I think I, you know, you can, you can, work with it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so, uh, when I very first saw it, I, I said, hell no. Um, but seeing them and then now being able to drive it, you know, it's, it's not as bad as, as what it is. Um, yeah. one thing I will say I, I completely dislike is the depth of the dashboard. Okay. Talk to me more about that. Yeah. Um, it looks like, uh, uh people with cats will <laughs> have them on a road trip and you'll see three or four of them. Is laid out, <laughs> you know. I mean, why do you why do you need a dashboard that long? That, that's a that's a uh, that's a common thing that people have have uh, seen. Is it's because the the front of the car is so shallow with like the front trunk. This is where all like the electronics and the motor and like everything is over here. So it was so like, there's no room to have a to to extend the trunk out. 
Exactly. Yeah. So instead of like instead of uh, putting the the trunk out, they move the this fo- like forward. You know what I'm saying? Like they went the other way. Yeah, they you did. Know what about I'm saying? two feet. Yeah, they did. The it, this is like three feet, three feet long. This this dash right here. Well, that's what I'm saying. Does it mess up with your visibility up there? Like, are you? No, no, okay. no. I can see. I mean, um, I mean, with a giant w- windshield as well. Yeah. You know, it, uh, you can see it really good. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I, I feel like that's a, that's a bad design Okay. on it. Um, but I guess it, like you said, if it's covering up wires, connections, parts of the front motor or battery or whatever. Yeah. It's just like how the packaging was done, I guess, for the, for, um, the decisions they made and like how they outlined the car it's just they had to end up with something like this but it for me like it was tough for me to get used to this because because there's such so much room between you and and the front you know how do you like having that instant torque when you put your foot down i mean it, it's it's cool you know just the instant torque and then just uh if you let off and you start it starts breaking for you it's, yeah it it's different um it's it's definitely not a bad feeling okay well you said you said this thing knows i want to drive forward when when it, 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 it should know to go backwards yeah <laughs> it'll get it'll get there with the self-driving stuff they'll uh they'll make it happen yeah when they start putting brain chips in people yes sir oh. the neural link you see the one where the guy was playing chess with his mind no. with a neural link yeah how do, how do you play chess with yourself what do you mean? What, what the, well, I mean no, what's your mind? So would your mind know that you're about to make your move? Well, no, the, the he literally was just sending signals from his brain to the computer and he was playing chess. Oh, I thought you meant like he was physically playing oh, with no, his no, no, no. mind. I said, how is how Go around the other work? side. There's there's a, uh, more slots out there. Uh, y'all peasants. And y'all's, <laughs> and y'all's regular and y'all's Teslas. tiny ass Teslas. <laughs> Break and then... And then there are your cameras. A little, a little bit more, maybe. Just a tiny bit more. That much more. That should be good. Perfect. Okay. Well, and then, uh, well, that's that. You want to hold oh, the P. Right. Yeah. There you go. All right. Now let's uh, let's go charge it. All right. So all you do is uh, there's a door right here. Yeah. You just tap it. Yeah. And then you grab that cord. You just plug that sucker in. That's it. That's it? You don't have to pay for this It It charges your app automatically. Oh, shit. I'm glad it's on your app. Yeah, it's actually on Chase's app. Oh, <laughs> there you go, even better. All right, we're gonna grab a burger. We'll be right back. From Freddy Steak Burgers. It was banging. Oh yeah, my belly's good, full. Wasn't it? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and unplug the, the truck. So all you do is you just go up to the thing, you hold the button until the thing t- turns blue, the little light right there turns blue, and then you pull it out. That's it. Huh. That's weird. That's, That's it. Your first charging experience, and it closes automatically. Oh, it does? And we were in there for like 20 minutes or something? Uh, about 15 or so, yeah. 15, okay. 20 minutes. So it's at 76%. So if you tap that 76%, it will change it to miles. So 241. That ain't bad. Miles. So we've added, so, so that's like about, 100 miles. About, yeah. So what, about 15, 20 minutes yeah. to eat? That yeah. ain't bad. Not bad, right? Not bad. Well, that's a cool car. Eh, uh, nah. <laughs> nah. I like it. The paint job's yeah. kind of cool. But... I'm down for a steak. That's, you like that? I like it. <laughs> I like it. It moves. It definitely moves. Yeah, there, there's few trucks that are that are faster than the Cyber Truck. You got like, I mean, I don't think there's. I think the Cyber Truck. The Hummer. The EV, the, the Hummer EV. Yeah, that thing's a thousand horsepower. That, yeah, but, but it's also nine thousand like, pounds. Yeah, that, that's a yeah, big. That's a big. That's a big boy. It looks badass though. It's cool. I mean, it. I, yeah. As styling, I take that over this thing. In okay. Style. Okay. Yeah, because it looks more traditional. Like it's yeah. it's got more of a traditional look. You know, it's it's not as uh, as uh, like shocking. For sure. Yeah. yeah. You know. 
Well, and, and that's what I was what I was talking about earlier is is it's just the style of the Cybertruck is nobody's ever done it. Right. I mean, there's literally nobody. Yeah. And so it's unique. It's yeah, futuristic. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you ever see yourself driving this car, like? Actually driving it, driving it, or no? Yeah, I'll just come borrow yours. <laughs> uh, you mean buying one? Buying one. Like, what, what would you need from a truck? Like, what you <clears throat> as somebody who, like, hauls and tows stuff, like, what What do you look for in a truck? Something I don't have to chase down a, a charger for. Okay. Um, constant, right? Because if, if you put trailers and stuff, obviously, your, your power gets drained yeah like crazy especially obviously heavier more drains so yeah um i i mean like we talked about uh last time in our video uh when we went to our property yeah um the, you know if if, it, if you had a 500 mile range and able to tow ten thousand pounds i think that's more realistic um if not, it it serves no use for me unless it's like a going to H E B. Okay. It's really, and that's with all VVs across the board for me. Right. It's not just the Tesla, or whatever. I mean, it, it you can't you can't haul nothing. Yeah. Um, how how many people that have trucks use it the way that you do, that you know of, where they need like that. Cause, cause you're right. Cause like it, you need, you tow stuff hundreds of miles, mm -hmm. right? Like you, you're like a, you, you put your truck to work. You yeah. legitimately do. Well, like for instance, uh, me, me, me and the boss lady, uh, we're going to Albuquerque. We're bringing 19 horse panels and some horse mats and stuff. And yeah, which ain't going to be like crazy amount, but I'm sure loaded with the trailer and everything else. I mean, it'd be, it'll probably be, you know, eight or 9,000 pounds. Right. Give or take. And, um, you know, what is that? Uh, I forgot how many miles away it is, but I think it's just, let's say somewhere around 600 miles, give or take. Yeah. So I'm, I'll, I'll have to fill up once. Okay. If I drive this thing. Yeah. It it take me four, it take me two days. <laughs> you know what I mean? You probably have to charge, if I were to guess, probably like four times. Three or four times. Yeah. Yeah. So it would add it would add a solid hour, like probably hour and a half to two hours to your trip. Maybe even more. more two hours. Two that, hours at least. Two each, to three hours yeah, probably. Each, each stop. No, not each stop. No, 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 no. Each stop won't be two hours. Each stop will probably be like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour maybe. For, yeah, for long distance towing, EVs are just not. The, the only one that I know of that can do something like that is the Chevy Silverado EV that can do uh, 11,000 pounds, 250 miles. But then you're at a charger for like an hour and a half. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. that, 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 that that's the waste of my time. I got, you know, I got shit to do. I can't just sit there each, right. each time. Yeah. Now, if it's like in the city and I'm never going to, you know, haul nothing like massive or go out of, out of state or whatever. Then yeah. That may not be like a terrible thing. Right. I don't see y'all ever reaching scales like that anytime soon because y'all's problem is y'all going to need bigger batteries. In a sense. As far as like going that long range, right? Right. Yeah, it's either bigger batteries or better battery density. And that, that it will take, regardless of what, whichever side it is, it's probably going to, we're probably like five to 10 years away from a, like a pickup truck style like this to be able to say haul 250 to 300 miles at 11,000 pounds and charge like in 10, 10 minutes. You know, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, so so, so y'all, I mean, y'all's biggest deal is time to charge, in a sense. Because you could do 100 miles, but you have, it takes you 5, 10 minutes to charge. Right. You know, somebody like you, you won't be frustrated. You think that's, it's fine by yeah, you. I, I mean, yeah. you know. But I like again, to stay hydrated. I pee every two hours anyway. <laughs> you know? That's, that's a, it's huge. <laughs> you know? 
Uh, it's like I'm, I'm making my peace schedule work around the car, you know? Yeah, no, <laughs> the car should be working around your peace. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, but like me, I can pull into a gas station now. Uh, my, there, she's recording the, the car. See that? Oh, she is. That's $20. Hey. <laughs> uh, but no, so like. So my F two fifty has a twenty four gallon tank. Uh huh. The GMC is a thirty four gallon tank. But either way, it, I can stop at a gas station, f- start filling up. I can go in, and pee, grab a you know drink or whatever. Yeah. And then come back outside, and I'm ready to go. Right. So, I guess another good thing is that either it doesn't matter what destination. If me and you were race, I will get there before you. Well, one thousand percent. If it's over one hundred fifty miles, one thousand percent. Yeah, w- without a shadow of a doubt, for sure. But I think my my question was like, how many people do you know that have a truck that use a truck for that purpose? Um, maybe not like state to state, but just in everyday use. Yeah. Uh, Where they're hauling stuff. Hauling. I mean, I I'd, I'd say. 65 70 percent of the people you know yeah yeah that, that actually will use their truck for for its purpose yeah. besides just you know like a, a pavement princess so to speak right yeah. are these mostly like business owners like do they do they work for construction like what's the <coughs> well those to to you know a lot of people you know they own you know they either live on property or they have property kind of like what me and aaron do mm-hmm. and and they go out there with their kids with, you know, with four wheelers or yeah. whatever else or tractors, skidsters, whatever. It's yeah. just, it, in Texas, it's, it's, it's common. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not forbidden. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they much rather have the 80,000 to a hundred thousand dollar truck and live in a single wide trailer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just a lifestyle choice. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, I mean, yeah. Uh, um, I'm sure Texas. Is, I feel like you probably you haven't seen more trucks until you came. Oh, to Texas, yeah, like Texas. Yeah, right. Is the land of the truck out here? Hundred um, percent. So, and and yeah. like I said, I would say most of them who have trucks, they've they use their truck for a truck. Yeah. Even if it is a hundred thousand dollar. Yeah. Rig. Um, they put it to work. Yeah, yeah, but like I said, then you have but then you have those those princess pay, favors, you know that, you know spend twenty thousand dollars on rims, you know, <laughs> and then you know they got a a twenty inch lift which doesn't make no sense at all. <laughs> um, yeah. So it all really just depends, right? Yeah, hundred percent. You know what's one thing I noticed on the way back? What? You, le- you were a lot more comfortable driving the car. You were driving it with one hand. I noticed you started like. Like sit, like she started started sitting into the truck a little bit more. Well, let's go get a mixed drink. I, <laughs> I, I get real comfy. Uh, all right, should we hook it up? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna hook up this trailer to the cyber truck, and Travis is down here working, working his like magic. A slave, man. So w- what are we doing out here, Travis? Uh, walk, walk us. Give us the play by play. I don't know. Taking this shit off. Okay. Uh. There we go. Is that what you need? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Then, it's pretty quick, actually. Why did I think it was going to take longer than that? I mean, it would if you were doing it. That's true. Not bad, huh? How do you like having the camera? Um, it looks, it works good. I just didn't realize how, how, how the height different. So you can actually lift the, you can lift the suspension. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's self, it's self levels. No s***. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Nice. How is that, uh, is that any different than, uh, yeah, like a regular truck? No, about no. the same. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 about the same. Okay. Why do you clap? 
uh, so I can sync it up easier when I edit it. So all three cameras have a microphone. So when I go clap, clap, there'll be a loud clap on the audio for that camera, that camera, that camera. So I know where all three of them are in time. Doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> it saves me like an hour and a half. All right, so we got it hooked up. We're gonna whip it around town here in Round Rock, see what uh, Travis thinks of how it feels. Uh, Travis is somebody who hauls all the time. He's always pulling something in his, uh, in his trailer or in his truck. And so I'm really curious to see what, what he thinks of how the, the truck drives. Uh, ride quality, steering, feel, visibility, all that stuff. The steering wheel still, it just, it's just awkward. Okay. Um, not, not, not bad, but yeah. it, it literally feels like, uh, like, um, like a racing game. Yeah. You know, when you sit down and you, uh, uh, like, uh, at a arcade, mm -hmm. I guess you can say. Yeah. Um, but it's not, it's not bad. Does it feel like you're pulling something? No. Okay. No. W would it feel like you're pulling something at these speeds or no? Um, not, not really. Okay. Uh, I mean, if it was more weight, mm -hmm. I, I I would think you you would notice it. Yeah, you know, uh, but you can hear. Yeah, you can definitely hear. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, but it, I mean, it it pulls just fine. Okay. How's that? Is that like ain't, ain't even there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, I, like ain't nothing there, which is, which is pretty cool feature, uh, because even even with my diesels, I mean, um, if it's it, you know, if one kid I got one that has a a weight reduction as we like to call it. Yeah. Because the you know the factory it, you know whole exhaust system is like a thousand pounds, mm -hmm. and I got that taking off you yeah know. yeah <laughs> um and then the, like the gmc is everything's factory on it and okay and it it takes a while to get up to speed okay um and it, it, even with this load you know like i said i i, I would have say i bet it's somewhere around like five thousand pounds that yeah before. yeah and it's on a few of the bumps just now over that bridge i kind of felt you could you could feel that i have a trailer on mm -hmm. but mm -hmm acceleration that we just did i mean it's like yeah. it's, nothing was there nice okay what about the ride do you notice anything in the ride so when you're pulling something does the ride change of the truck oh uh, well yeah of course and, and then you know that also goes on with uh with how much weight you know yeah. you have um and then if it's a pulling a bumper pull you you're gonna feel it a lot more than if you have a gooseneck this is a bumper pull and then a gooseneck you know it's the weight centered on the axle is different right gotcha okay so you, you know um it's gonna ride it's gonna ride different yeah um so um but with that being said i mean even though we don't have a lot of weight on this yeah. trailer it's pulls just fine how how is it living up to like did you have any expectations before we, we started driving this thing around. Like, did you, what did you expect to uh, see from this truck? Or like feel and like, how, how is it living up to those expectations? That's kind of hard to explain. Um, okay. I mean, uh, we can go back to, you know, when we first met each other, when we were neighbors. Uh, yeah. You were the first neighbor slash friend that I, you know, that, that I became friends with that had a electric vehicle in it. Yeah. You know, so I always thought it was weird at first, and then getting to know you, you took us on some drives, and you showed us what you know these cars can do. Yep. Um, and then that last video that we made, we you did it without any hands. Yes. <laughs> for the, for most of the vehicle ride, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean that that's it's um it's 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 exciting to mm -hmm. to see how you know these vehicles are being develop and you know um since i'm a car person um mm -hmm. like like you are i i love 
I love hearing new things that coming out on 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 social media. Yeah, and um, and then some of them, you know, they're just stupid. But yeah, you get the same aspect on on a gas powered vehicle too, right? Right. Like, there's some exciting news, and then there's like that's dumb. Yeah. Why, why'd you even think about that? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely becoming a very common thing and I think it's in a sense great mm -hmm. um, uh, but we can go you know we could change that into an argument on is really an EV better for the environment or not you know right, right. you can go on both sides of that fence and be correct mm -hmm. um, so um, if, if it's for a, a new way to travel I think it's good I don't think I don't think it helps the environment at all because uh, you still destroy the environment one way or another mm -hmm. doesn't matter if you're building a vehicle everything everything you know is touched by some type of ga oil and gas sure. one way or another right sure. and then in order to make the batteries well those coal mines and stuff I mean they're you can argue with that, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, and then once the vehicle is non-usable, what do you do with it? Yeah. You know, so yeah. you're not really, uh, I don't think you're really um, helping or making the environment any better. Because, you know, yeah, this thing doesn't throw out black smoke like my diesel does. Sure, but sure. on how to make electricity for you to charge it, yeah. you're probably destroying their mind yeah i think i think you know. the the long-term argument for like evs you know and you know to, to be to be honest you know i i like the the climate stuff related to evs but that's not the primary reason why i have an ev like if it's <laughs> better for my use case but i think the the one advantage electric vehicles have is that batteries can be recyclable whereas say uh, oil can, can't be right like you burn it it's in the atmosphere right but that's not to say that there's no use for oil because obviously there is like the you know the tires on this car were made with petroleum a lot of this trim was made with petroleum you know what i'm saying exactly yeah so it's not i'm not i'm not like a oil bad i'm like uh i think there's advantages to batteries long term it's just going to take time to get to that point. well right and, yeah. and then that's a good thing about me and you is that you know we don't get hot-headed right. over each other's views exactly right because you know um because, like I said, on both sides of the fence, you can make a pretty good argument. 100%. And both be right. My thing is, like, just let let both exist and let them go to the fullest potential. Oh, absolutely. And the, the better technology will win in the long term. Well, right? well. Whatever that means. Yeah. I mean, eventually, one side has to fail, right? Sure. Um, you know, uh, but until, until, you know, the the whoever's running the world let's electricity be free yeah. across the board people really can't afford electric vehicles especially yeah. when they're you know when they're eighty thousand dollars now right. obviously there's some that are what 25 30 grand like the smaller little uh, uh i have a guy that i work with he just bought a uh, chevy the bolt bolt yeah little video fart yeah <laughs> i mean yeah. that's the best way to just try yeah describe it's, a, it's sure. a little tiny little thing <laughs> yeah um uh, but in his mind he said it cost him like i think he's uh, he he's really he, like he breaks his bills down but i think he said it cost him like 13 dollars a, a month to charge charge yeah I, I believe for it. how much he uses it and all i that. believe it yeah and this is the same guy that owns I think three different vehicles that are like 92 to to 82. Mm -hmm. You know, like a Chevy Blazer. He has a three quarter ton Chevy. Mm -hmm. So he he went off. You know, so he has those to to do work and th yeah. and his little bolt. He's looking at a car. Is, it's like a little little set, you know uh, downtown Austin get a work get around. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. It's funny because it's a little video thing, and he did it like you said. Uh, you know, he got. I think he got the seventy five hundred dollar. Did the tax uh, credit or whatever? Yeah, ta yeah, tax credit and all that. And he said he don't care because it cost him. Uh, Press the the bottom one, the uh, same arrow. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it, you know, it cost him 
thirteen dollars to charge it a month, which ain't nothing. That's yeah. dirt cheap. But my deal is that I said, well, what if we get another freeze and the grid goes down? Right. Now you're going to be relying on your gas power vehicles. Unless, you unless know. you're able to recharge your batteries with solar. Well, yeah, right. But you know, most people don't have the whole. One hundred percent. You know, and, and and if it does freeze, solar panels don't do you no good when you got inches of thick of ice on it. They, they'll mm-hmm. they'll melt. They'll melt it. Who will? The the panels melt. Like they they have. You can have it so that the panels have like some sort of warming thing, and they just they're, there's never going to be any like snow or ice on there for more than a couple hours. Oh, just melt away. Okay. Well, yeah. What about uh, up north? Uh, that that big solar farm, that storm, all the hail, took out yeah. hundreds of acres. You can make solar panels that are hailproof. Well, you think the idiot who came up with that idea would have? They been, didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at the time, they didn't. There's different technologies. I think. I, but I think my argument to that is like, yeah. I mean, these are these are early stages of solar technology and like a renewable technology. Whereas like the oil infrastructure, it's been around for like a hundred plus years, right? So like what we're enjoying now from like oil, gas and all these things and diesel, we've had uh, the benefit of a hundred years for this technology to get where it's at now, like with generators and everything. Like it took a minute for us to get here, right? With, yeah. with everything else, like solar battery EVs and everything, we're still like in the first 10, 20 years of it. So we st- like it's about 80, 80 years behind where oil, gas and everything is now. But that you means know? it'll always be 80 years behind. Oil Not necessarily, no, unless unless it has better long term potential than than gas, oil and gas, right? So if like if uh, batteries and solar long term, you can recycle batteries and you can have solar, hydro, you know, wind and all these renewable sources feeding the batteries and powering everything, and you can uh, you know um, recharge your batteries and recycle them, then. Doesn't that seem like a better solution than just uh, taking a finite resource in oil and just burning it up in the atmosphere and then you run out at some point? Mm. Yeah, maybe so. I think a better source of It'll energy... It'll take time, right? It will take time to get oh, there. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I think the best source of energy across the board is is uh, uh, the... Nuclear? Uh, no, um, hydro. Uh, yeah, what well, they've been, uh, what's that one vehicle that they're, they've been working on that runs on water now? Okay. You know, I, I get I, skeptical with those things. Well, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you can't, can't, can't not knock it. Right. I right. mean, look how long it took to perfect this. Sure. Sure. You know, and the water source, you know, if, 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 if that shit is true. Yeah, I and, think and, the, it's, and it's as efficient as people been claiming it is. Right. Yeah, if they can get it there, I think the cost of manufacturing and scalability becomes the hardest thing, right? Because it's like you can you can make a technology work in the lab or like in very small use cases, but getting it to work across hundreds of millions of cars, let's say, that's a whole different equation because you got to build up a supply chain and a manufacturing base to be able to do that. You know, and like that's that's where I'm curious to see what kind of like the technology, like where, where that kind of technology goes. Yeah, right. You know? But I'm saying for I feel like that's that's what people should be focusing on because that that eliminates way more waste. OK, wouldn't you wouldn't you agree? To yeah, a certain aspects. But, but I, I so why, I guess my argument is the the reason why we don't have that solution, per se, is because I don't think it's viable because there's something fundamentally that that is making that technology not capable of scaling to the point of where, let's say, gas cars are or EVs are. I I think you're right, but kind of on the wrong aspect is that I don't think the, there's 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 not enough money to be made off that. There, you know, because uh, water, if, if if you burn it, sure. it vapors goes up, makes more yeah. water, right? But oil and gas, it's gone. Uh, it's gone, <laughs> and the people that have been running running the show for, the, like you said, the last hundred years, yeah, uh, there goes all their money. What is it like driving that thing, the trailer? What What have you noticed so far? I mean, really nothing, um, except for like it, the just the towing, you know, pulling it all that. You can't, I can't really feel it unless we go over, you know, like some railroad tracks and stuff. You know, I could kind of feel the. The weight a little bit, but yeah. besides that, 
I can't. I can't really tell that there's anything behind. Yeah. Me. Can you, uh, yeah. let's do a U, U-turn, because I'm curious to get your reaction with a U-turn, because doing a U-turn with this with this truck is very unique because of the steer-by-wire. So I'm curious to see what you think of the U-turn. Uh, I don't want to jackknife the trailer, though, see? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't do that in any of my two of my vehicles. There's no way. What do you think about that? I, that was easy. Okay. It was nice. Um, definitely couldn't do it. No, there, there's no way I could do it in both of my trucks. Yeah. There's no way. Or Aaron Suburban is. Yeah. Uh, but that's because you got four wheel steering, right? Right. Exactly. Four wheel steering. How do you feel not having to turn the wheel all the way around to do that? Um, not normal. Okay. You know, uh, like I'm not even what, I'm not even full halfway and it's, I mean, it, it turns with ease. Yeah. I still know what you mean about f-ing airplane and pilots and then steering because I never, they won't allow me to get in an airplane. <laughs> in the cockpit? Uh, uh, they, <laughs> they won't, won't let you fly one of those They things? won't even let me sit in the seat. Oh, man. You know? Yeah. They see me, they, they go ahead and lock that door. They don't want yeah. my ass looking there. <laughs> uh, so, but it's, it's um, the feeling behind it is different for sure. Yeah. Do you, do you, how's the visibility on the, on the side view mirrors? Um, easy. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, the shape of the mirrors are different, but obviously they kind of go with the contrast of the length of the vehicle too. Yeah. With the angles and the lines and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, I think on, on how they were to make these, these angles and lines with sheet metal is pretty amazing mm-hmm. um, because that, I mean that it's hard to do obviously I watched one of the other videos with the other gentleman when you were downtown oh Sandy the older gentleman yeah yeah and, and he pointed out you know stuff like that and, and I get I gotta agree like it's even though you know they cheated and they had they used robots <laughs> you know what I'm saying you better have your it's straight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Uh, but either way, um, it's 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 impressing. Uh, if it, if a human hands did it, that would be. I mean, I yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah. But obviously, you know, he he cheats and he, <laughs> he uses the robot. That's I funny. mean, it makes sense. Every manufacturer uses robots right, of to course. build their vehicle. Of right? course, of course. Uh, it, It'd be impossible to have a car today without robots. Well, yeah, yeah. and it w- it'd be impossible to even uh, have a uh, to put them in full production. Right. You know, there's, there's no way. So I think, I mean, and it only makes sense, but yeah, it's it looks good as if you look at it from that uh, that you know perspective. Yeah. How are you getting used to not having to use the brake? How, you, yeah, I haven't. I don't. I haven't used it very much. Yeah. How how do you like it now that you've been driving it for like a like an hour or so? Like, how's the not having or half an hour, forty five minutes, however long it's been? How do you like the reach on braking instead of using? The I brake? like it. You like it? Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't feel foreign to me. Okay. Um, you know, I I I I like how you finally allow me to u- drive a EV yeah. when it's not under your name. I tried you letting know? you you have my car. You're like, no, I'm good. Have it? What? You gonna give me? I the tried. Title? You, no, I'm trying. <laughs> I tried, <laughs> asked I'll you multiple it. times. Do you want to drive it? I'm like, no, I'm good. I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, I don't want to it up. <laughs> but you're driving this one. It's not yours. <laughs> and hopefully this gentleman, Thank you, Chase. <laughs> you know, hopefully Chase, you're a smart man and you had you got the premium insurance. I'm paying for it. <laughs> oh, what well, day? It, it, we just we just go off road. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. we haven't done that test yet. We haven't. Maybe we should. Should we ask Chase? See what how he thinks. I'd rather him take it off roading. I feel like if we take it off road, that's gonna be. I, I'm I'm afraid. Hmm. That might be a problem. We've, How about I, this? When I get mine, we'll take it off roading. We'll, we'll take do, mine off roading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we probably f- it don't up. worry, Chase. It's okay. <laughs> mm. We won't ruin your car. Hey, Sorry. what you don't know won't hurt you. Is that <laughs> just <start going laughs> like this? <laughs> oh my God! What a yeah. crazy trail we're on. So, if you were to give this truck a score, like let's say from zero to ten, 
uh, in like different categories. I, I'm curious to go through that with you right now. And since we're towing right now, you know, we're towing about 5,000 pounds. Not, it's not the max load, but I think it's given us a good enough idea of, of how the truck would handle under load, right? So from zero to 10, 10 being best, how would you rate the towing capacity of, of the Cybertruck? Like the towing ability? Um, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a solid eight or, nine, you know, I'd, I'd say eight. I mean, it's, 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 it's a, it's a strong vehicle on, on, on towing. Um, you know, it, it, it can't haul the heaviest loads, but I would say uh, the average American male or I mean, female too, whatever. But, uh, I mean, I'd say 5,000 pounds is, is a normal. Okay. You know, it's not crazy because uh, not everybody has a 40 foot goosenecks and hauls tractors and this and that. Around, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so I, I'd say for average American, I mean, I, I think this is good. Okay. Yeah. What's keeping it uh, from a 10? Is it the range? I'm meeting like some fake black smoke or something coming <laughs> out, you know, like a, like a little, uh, you know, uh, uh, speaker that, you know, sounds like a turbo or, you know, something that sounds like a, like a, a, a blue collar man would want to hear. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay. um, you want to look good hauling something. Yeah, it made, okay. me, made me feel like, yes, I know I'm saving the environment, but I want to feel like I'm fucking it up a little bit, <laughs> you know? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, you okay. Come up, uh, they come up with, like, some go green smoke, <laughs> you know? Uh, Make it green. Yeah. It's just green smoke. That means it's a, it's a healthy smoke. Exactly. It's good for you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They probably think it's weed or something. <laughs> They'd be chasing me down. All right, so 8 out of 10 for towing. Uh, comfort. How would you rate the comfort? Um, Just like, you know, the seat, the how the car feels, the, the seats, ride quality I, and everything. I, I, I mean, I, I'd say like eight and a half. Okay. Like it's, 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 a, comp it's a very comfortable vehicle, okay. without a doubt. Okay. Uh, looks. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the front end, I, I give it a, a good seven. Okay. From the side... I mean, a two. Okay. It's, it's, it looks like a f***ed up uh, <laughs> uh, triangle. You know? Okay, okay. Um, yeah, a triangle and a rectangle. We're getting it on, and that's this is what it popped out. Okay. A lot of people call this a, a fridge on wheels, a triangle fridge on wheels, because it was stainless steel. You know, look. I think that's giving it too much credit. <laughs> yeah. You think some fridges <laughs> look better than the Cyber Yeah, truck? <laughs> I do. I really do. Uh, but amazing. the front end, you know, especially when they're talking about having a light bar and stuff, yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, if you look at it from the front, but from the side, it it's not pretty. Okay. Um, at, at least in my mind. Um, now, if you get get a, you know, a certain color wrapped or something, yeah. I, you could, it's like painting a turd. Like, you can make it look a little bit prettier. Sure, but it still sure. looks like a turd. Sure. Right? Fair enough. I disagree, um, but I, I fair enough. Beauty's I mean, in the a, eye of the beholder, right? Well, right. Exactly. I mean, like I said, you might look at my truck and you may not. Eh, it, 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 I don't yeah. mind your truck. Yeah. Right. So I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not like being ugly. Right. Uh, no. One hundred percent. I think the comfort and the and the ride quality is 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 very very good. Cool. Uh, performance. I mean, it, I I'd say that it's a it's a ten. I mean, it, there's nothing. I've never been in nothing that I've driven myself that, mm -hmm. you know, gets to speed, even with hauling 5,000 pounds as fast as it does. Yeah. You know, it uh, it moves, it rides good. Um, you know, uh, I like to do 100 miles an hour like Chase said he <laughs> did, but I don't think he'll let me. Uh, but no, it's, it, I'm, I'm sure this thing for just a round town vehicle, it, yeah. I think uh, I think it'd be great. What's the most surprising thing to the positive about the truck? Like, what's the thing that that you were like, oh shit! Like, I didn't even like something that really jumped out at you that was very positive about the truck. I'm driving a truck that looks like a painted turd. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> that's a positive surprise. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. No, um, I think the ex uh, the acceleration with the trailer. Okay. That took uh, you by surprise. Yeah. Okay. I really did. Um, I mean, obviously, I know 
without the trailer in the razor on it, like it uh, it moves extremely fast. But yeah. even with five thousand pounds, it it was like it wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and like I said, even with both of my diesels that are heavier and bigger, yeah. Um, one of them we would act like it wouldn't be there because it it is deleted and has a performance upgrade on it but mm-hmm. the, the the factory one the gmc it i mean it, it'll still take a minute for it to get up to speed so yeah, yeah. i think uh i think it's amazing okay just how fast this thing can just move yeah and and you don't feel it i mean like right here on this road it's just nothing nothing at all yeah now we're doing you know 50 and it, it, it had no trouble yeah did we were putting a lot of input on the on the accelerator too or not? You were just kind of pressing it normal, like the. Oh uh, no! Well, earlier I had it fully down. All down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just now it was like I would say halfway. Okay. I mean, it just gets up to speed with with ease. If this truck could pull, say, eleven thousand pounds for three hundred miles on one charge, would you would you seriously consider this vehicle, or does it have to do more than that? Is it just like a range problem, what it comes down to? I would say 75% of it is range. Okay. If if you could hit 500 miles yeah. without having to worry about charging for 500 miles and pull 11,000 yeah. pounds, I, I would, I would, I'd be, I, me and the boss lady would be going to go look at them. Okay. But... Even three hundred miles, it's. I mean, if it's towing, that's that's decent. I mean, that's 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 pretty good. Yeah. But it's not enough for me to want to say I got to go get one. Yeah. You know, um, just because. I mean, I I I already got one that could do three hundred miles. Right. With eleven thousand pounds. Right. And then my new truck that I ordered, you know, that that new one ton Ford. You know, I mean that thing. The 350, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 500 horsepower and 1,200 pound feet of torque. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, if I'm correct, it's somewhere around like 40,000 pounds that wow, it can okay. tow. Yeah. So you're, you know, so 11,000 pounds don't mean shit to me. Yeah, 40,000. You can pull right? 40,000. I, I think it's, I think it's just under. I want to say like it's 30. I want to say 38. Okay. But if you could do 38, you could push 40. Right. You know. Right. So, yeah. Um, so that's my look on, on it, you know, um, because both both vehicles, my new one and this one, probably cost the same. Right. So, right. yeah. This one's more luxury. Right. 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 You know, um, and, and it's more roomy because I, I, I ordered the uh, the uh, single cab okay. dually. Okay. But as performance wise and, and range and the use it that the truck I ordered is far superior than, than, than this. Well, of course, yeah. That I, that one is like designed to pull a gigantic amount of weight. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's almost like a semi truck at that point. It, I, yeah, it's it. Because semi, I think it's eighty thousand full load, but mm-hmm. forty grand is halfway there. Yeah, <laughs> you know. that's a lot. That's a lot of weight. Well, and well, and technically, this vehicle can tow. I bet this thing can tow 80,000 pounds. Probably. It just won't stop 80,000 pounds. It, it won't yeah. stop it. And then you got to realize, too, like, just say, as long as, uh, long as all the weights are on separate axles. Yeah. And you just have a, a, a steel beam that you hook to it and you just pull it. You yeah. You got to put no weight on it. This thing will pull it. Right. You know, it, the problem, like you said, yeah. you ain't going to stop it. Yeah. So so yeah, anything can pull weight. It's but when you ha- when you're adding that weight to your vehicle, yeah, that's where it becomes it you know headaches and issues. Yeah. What's your least favorite thing about the truck? Outside of the looks, we already know looks is the least favorite. So what's what's your? I, I don't know. Is it is is the looks your least favorite thing, or is there something that you like less than the this looks? long ass fucking dashboard? Okay. I, I can't. I mean, that's the only thing you can see. Okay. It's hideous. Okay. The the front and back look great. The side view, they did a terrible job. And then this, you know, this giant dash. Yeah, I'm just imagining 
fucking cat song. I'm surprised just how much you hate this dash. Like, you really don't I, like the dash. No. Wow. I, I think it's hideous. Okay. It's not... It, it, it serves no purpose for me unless I'm, like, a cat woman. Okay. It really... I mean, you know what I'm saying? What do you think about, like, people that maybe want to use it as a work truck and they have, like, their laptops and stuff over there, like, a, like no pads or books and stuff? Like You they ain't going to reach and type that shit. <laughs> like storage. I mean, like, storage, you know? Do you think there's any use for that but up there? shit in the back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. No. It's just such a, like, it's, it's just fascinating just how much you don't like the dash. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's like, I'm OCD about that. I like that. I'd much rather live with the, the side view than, than the f dash. Okay. Fair enough. Fair that's, enough. That's hideous. Fair enough. Um, what, back here, what's the deal with this 14 foot fucking blade of wipe your window should we, should we wipe with it you want to wipe with it real quick so you hit that little button right there you see the little uh water thing yeah, there you god go. damn that's like it looked like a samurai sword and shit come out. <laughs> <laughs> make you want to <laughs> dunk it <laughs> that's gonna get you yeah. uh, for a hundred dollars i it next one i see i'm gonna steal it and put it on ebay and sell it <laughs> it's different it's just like i mean like certain things, I think over time I can get used to. It. Just like when I started off, I had both hands on the wheel. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm driving just in the center. Yeah. And I feel confident. It's mm -hmm. comfortable. It's not. It's not a big deal at all. Overall, this is your first EV experience. How how would you rate your EV experience now versus what you thought it was going to be like? Um. I mean, that's a pretty good question. Um. Well, I went from hating electric vehicles to, like I said, we, we become friends and I'm starting to get the concept and the liking of it yeah. to driving a Cybertruck that really, like, nobody's really ever driven because they're just now coming out. So what, new, the last, yeah. what, four or five months? Yeah, November. Yeah. Okay, and I'm able to drive one, which is amazing. How's the stopping power? I mean, easy. Easy? Yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. And, um, I mean, I still, you still ain't changed my mind into wanting to buy one. Right. But, and I'm not trying to, FYI. Like, that's that's not the purpose of No, but of if this, I yeah. did, you, you'd you be so proud. I know you'd go home to your wife I'd be proud. <laughs> say, I converted him. No, I would you never know? say that. I would say, Travis finally woke up. <laughs> I'm kidding. Woke up. I wake up before Jesus. You, you do. Every day. You, you're the one that wakes up late. It's true. I do wake up late. I mean, if there was ever a a, a, a zombie apocalypse, you're yeah. you're gonna wake up late. But but it does sound like it does sound like you you respect the performance of of electric vehicles. I do. Yeah. Uh, well, not all of them. Of course. Uh, but I mean, just because it says EV, don't mean that it's good. Sure. Right, I agree. Just like certain other vehicles, I agree. Um, but like I said, uh, Tesla, since they're the you know they're the first, and they had the most um, history on EVs. Yeah, you you can't really knock an EV um, all the way, right? Right. Um, just like you really can't knock a diesel motor, right? You know, hundred um, percent. But I know, I haven't been in a vehicle that 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 performs this good yeah um and like i said if you just get something that has you know that could do 500 mile range yeah with actually tolling it doesn't have to be thirty thousand, not even 20 right right but right something that actually makes sense you know 14 15 thousand pounds yeah and you could do 500 miles yeah i mean that's that's that'd be worth me looking into yeah you know, that actually will, might actually want to buy one. Yeah. You know, because, you you know, you can make ugly, make it look good. So. With enough and, effort. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I don't think, I don't think it's like a no f forever for me. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, just driving this, it's, I like it. And, you know, hopefully, like I said, when we get yours, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm off-roading, baby. Hell yeah! I, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna want to be the one in the passenger seat, seeing you try to go through mud, <laughs> and you f up and get stuck. I'm down. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make you proud, Travis. This is what I want to do now. So I want us to I want us to start driving back to uh, where we need to drop off the truck, and I and I want you to drive your truck back. I want I want you to collect your thoughts, and then we're gonna do a summary back over by where we need to be, and okay. then we'll talk. So just so you can have some time to like think through your thoughts, get back in your truck, experience your truck right after experiencing this one. And I'm really curious to hear your uh, your like sort of summarized final thoughts, and then uh, we'll we'll wrap it up then. Okay. How does that sound? That sounds good. Okay. Cool. And then All you right. can have your alone time in here. What's up? So I, I said, then you can have your alone time in here. <laughs> no. And Jay, you might want to watch the the the, <laughs> the the seat. You know. No, no, no. Hey, well, no ain't no, nobody no. gonna know. You ain't like you gonna keep the camera on. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I love you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't say you weren't. Bro. I definitely not. <laughs> There's a camera in here, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's hey. cameras everywhere. Hey, that's some other, that's some, uh, that's be more YouTube <laughs> for you. That's OnlyFans. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, you know, it is what that's it is. That's OnlyFans, brother. All right. All right, we'll be back with you guys in a second. Here. Yeah, thank you. All right.